Well, hello, my little beautiful bunnies. My name is Ashley Ellix, and in this video today, I'm gonna be testing and trying the new number seven multi-action serum foundation. This came out less than a month ago, and it's been a while since number seven came out with a new foundation, so I am so excited to try it out. And if you're ready to see it and try it along with me, then let's go, boo, boo. <laughs> Jumping right into some specifications, the new number seven Restore and Renew Serum Foundation is retailing for $15.99. I'm seeing it available at Target, number seven's website, and Walgreens. The coverage on this foundation is claimed to be light to medium, but they also said it is very buildable. So hopefully we'll get some nice flexibility in wear on this coverage. I picked up the shade Warm Ivory. This is the swatch of that. I am typically a light neutral, so I'm really hoping this shade works out for me. This foundation is a silicone based foundation, so it's very important to pair that with a silicone based primer if you are choosing to use a primer. I will be using the Makeup Revolution Blurring Balm just like I did in the last foundations video because that one worked so well. It's just this little balm right here and I'm just gonna go ahead, take that and swirl it on and we're gonna start applying. P.S. just in case you didn't know, I do have dry skin, especially in these spring and winter months. In the summer it's just more normal but right now we are in the month of April and I am more on the dry side. Of course, this is what my skin looks like without anything on it at all. I have some discoloration, some redness that I want to cover up, but I know, of course, like I mentioned, this is only a light to medium coverage. And just like in every foundation review video I do, I'm gonna do a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. My sponge is the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Wonder Blender and my brush of choice is the It Cosmetics. It has rubbed off. I think it's like a heavenly something flat kabuki kind of angled brush and that I really like these. Going to pump that on the back my hand there we go yeah that shade seems to be actually perfect for me the reason why I find it so hard to color match in number seven number one of course because there's usually not testers out but because they have all their stuff in these packaging sometimes it's like a completely no see-through packaging at all it is like impossible to find a shade match oh this one is perfect perfect shade match for me. So if you're a light neutral, like in the Tarte foundations, this warm ivory shade will be perfect for you. So anyways, it's hard. And number seven, this round, they actually have some swatches, which I'll pop up on the screen. That was a first, which made it so much easier as I have had a hard time finding number seven swatches. And this was really nice. I'm noticing while I'm putting this on that it is more of a watery consistency. It's called a serum foundation, which sometimes those can be really oily almost. It doesn't really feel oily. It feels almost like the Tarte Water Foundation, which we do need a nice dupe for. That one is being discontinued from Tarte and they try to replace it with the Hydroflex Serum Foundation and I do not like that one personally. Let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, so that is with one layer looking really really nice it has a bit of a glow to it not like full glowy like the it cosmetics nude glow that i tried for you guys last week but very just very nice and it has a light coverage at this moment but i will build it up and see what it looks like that's a very minimal smell if anything i actually don't even know if i smell a fragrance so much as i actually just smell the product itself let me see if there's any fragrance added no, I'm not seeing any fragrance. I don't, it doesn't claim to be fragrance free that I'm seeing, but I don't see a fragrance listed. So that's nice. Double check if you are sensitive to fragrances, but I'm not seeing any with my eyes. So that's with a second layer, um, close to medium. Yeah, actually maybe it's medium. Let me, let me get a closer look. Yeah, that's pretty medium. I have a little bit of redness still. And I can see my freckles, which I really like to be able to see my freckles and kind of camouflage the discoloration and the dark spots that I have. But it's looking really nice. Still has that satin finish. Borderline glowy with the second layer. It's almost giving more glow now. But let's switch to the brush on the other side. Okay. That is with one layer. So off the bat, more coverage with the brush, which is very standard, but only like a tiny bit more because I'm still seeing some discoloration coming through. It's not sticking to my nose very well. Um, and I'm also noticing some brush strokes, which tend to be the case with some really, really watery foundations. They usually play better with a sponge in my experience, but let's go ahead and apply a second layer to this. Okay, so this is with the second layer here. So pretty much they look the same. Now a little bit more coverage with the brush in the second layer. Like this is almost a true medium. I'm seeing less redness peeking through where I still see some with the double layer of the sponge. 
Here's what I'm noticing with my skin though. I feel like my pores, they don't look camouflaged in any way. They don't look reduced and you can't sh actually shrink the pore size of course, but there are some foundations that can help kind of diffuse them down. It's not that they're pronounced, maybe it's that they're pronounced actually. I definitely see them. I definitely see my pores. I don't know if it's the way the light is reflecting right now, but I definitely see them. It says it helps reduce with texturing, um, age spots, wrinkles, fine lines. I do have some smile lines and things like that. I don't see them emphasized and sometimes my trouble area is the smile lines around my mouth. I don't see them texturized. I don't, but the pores, it's not helping anything with the pores. It's just very basic that it doesn't claim anything to help with the pores, but just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something to help with the pores, this isn't gonna do it. They just, they're just there. And maybe with a setting powder that will help, but that is what everything is looking like. Let me know your thoughts. Sponge side, brush side. I will say I do prefer the sponge side because I think it just played better with that liquidy formula that it has. Like I said, the brush side, it looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. So I will be taking the clean side of my sponge and I'm just gonna gently press it and make sure to tap off any kind of excess. Hopefully that'll push it into the skin more and make it look less masky and makeup-y. And also it is going fine on my nose now. That second layer for some reason, it helped. It was like patchy before, it was weird. So there's that. I'm definitely gonna have to set this one like I usually do because it is still kind of, you know, tacky, liquidy. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the rest of my foundation, concealer, all my makeup. I'll list everything that I use down in the description box per usual and we'll see how it looks all done. Okay, so makeup is all complete, all done. And yes, I filmed this eye tutorial for you guys, which will, which was already posted actually last week. So check that out. I'll link it down in the description box. It's the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette. But anyways, about the face makeup. So everything played really nicely while I was applying it. And I noticed that the pores started to look a little bit better when I went in with my regular products with my concealer. Concealer. Today I used the Hard Candy Kit Glamouflage Concealer and then my powders, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. So that's all doing good. Since I did this eye tutorial, it's been about an hour or so that the foundation's been on. And I am seeing like a tiny bit of, tiny bit of texturing slash creasing around my smile lines. Nothing that I can't pat out. It is able to do that, but I definitely wanted to show you guys. And my nose, it's just not really like sticking to my nose. And, and that includes the concealer too. So I don't really know what's going on with that. We'll see the more I play with it and stuff and we'll see how it goes throughout the day. But everything else is looking pretty good. I'm not blown away like I was with the It Cosmetics Nude Glow last week. That's like the new bar because my skin I felt looks so good with that. But for a drugstore, $15.99 foundation. I think it looks really nice right now. And I loved how it applied and meshed with my skin on the sponge side. The sponge game is like throwing me off. This is two foundations in a row that look better with the sponge. So we will see how everything wears throughout the day. It does, I mean, it very much is like a light to medium coverage. So I'm gonna see some of these like little spots and stuff coming through. I'm just a little nervous on the wear time because I don't know how well it's wearing, like the closer I inspect but there's no other way to like find out how it wears than to wear it. So let's go ahead and see how this wore throughout the day. Hey, hello, hey, hi, how are ya? It's been about eight hours, maybe a little bit more, and this is what the skin is looking like. You know what? It looks pretty freaking good. I'm surprised. It didn't really, I was a little bit worried as you saw that it was gonna shift and get really patchy and stuff, but it pretty much, it honestly kind of looks the same. I took my big two mile walk today. We ate, we did all the things and yeah, it is a little bit rubbed off on my nose, but it's kind of how it looks since the beginning. I would say the only thing that I'm like not loving is my skin does look a little bit, it's like glowy, but dry at the same time. So I don't think it necessarily is dry. I think it just looks like a little bit makeup-y, like it's sitting on my skin a little bit, you know? And that goes for both sides. Both sides pretty much look like that, kind of like sitting on top of my skin. However, like that's if you like look really close like that. And who is up that close up in my business? So for a $15 drugstore foundation, like at a normal distance, I think my skin looks pretty darn toot and good. It's not as like healthy and glowy looking as say the It Cosmetics, but that one is like triple the price of this one. Not that they're necessarily comparable. I'm trying to compare them. Like I said, that bar for that one is up here, that new glow C nude glow CC cream. That's what that looks like. Here's what it looked like in natural lighting in my car an hour ago. So about the seven mile, seven hour mark. That's what it was looking like. I honestly think it looks pretty good. So let me know what you think about that. 
I'm always happy to have a new drugstore option, a new foundation option available at the drugstore because you know it's more affordable save yourself some coin but anyways make sure you subscribe because next week i should have in my hands the patrick star one size beauty balm and also the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin i think i'm gonna do the patrick star one first so subscribe so you don't miss out on those foundation videos and let me guys let me know if you guys like the style like quick foundation review that i'm like i'm just getting right to the point let me know if you like that and i will see you guys later okay bye